What is up fellow developers, code enthusiasts, and the chicken that randomly managed to put on this video? You're the real MVP. In this video, we'll be creating a pure CSS accordion. There's a menu accordion you can see here, and this is made out of pure CSS, no JavaScript, nothing like that. As you can see up here, it's using, um, when you click on something, it's basically adding it to an anchor link, and we're gonna be using that to target um, specific um, CSS. Now, before we start, I want to say uh, thank you to my friend Dixie. He just posted a new Minecraft video. I know, Minecraft. Wait, Tyler, what? There's a coding video. What are you on about? He just posted a new funny um, compilation of me and him playing Minecraft because, you know, a coder's got to relax somehow. And, but without further ado, let's get on with this video. First things first, I'm going to open up a terminal and I've got it in the wrong screen. Uh, let me bring it over. I'm going to CD into my 100 days of code project, although now it's changed to 100 videos of code because I've, 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 I've failed. Um, don't, let's not talk about it. Let's make a new directory. Eight, yeah, and we'll call this CSS Accordion. Let's CD into day 88. And then let's open it up in code. Loop. Let's make this full width for now. And in here, we're basically going to put in here an index dot The what? What's going on? This is not what I asked for. What is going on here? All right, let's now try that again. Index dot html. And in here, I'm going to do some boilerplate code. And I'm going to also put in here pure 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 CSS accordion. Just to let you know, this is a follow-on from my previous videos. How to do it in React. Vue.js and JavaScript. So we have now, this will be the fourth part of making an accordion. I hope you guys really wanted to learn how to make an accordion because I've done it in many different ways. Um, we're gonna link up a main.css here um, because, you know, main.css. We're gonna be using SAS to, and I'm gonna compile it down using the SAS, node SAS to do that. Um, and again, I've explained this on a videos before, so go check those out. Um, in the header, I'm going to just put here pure. I'm going to do in italics. Oh, no, what? Um, CSS accordion. Very nice. I'm going to have a main because we need to target two things. I'm going to have a nav.menu in here. And then next to it, we're going to have a section.content, which is going to have a h2, which is going to say... Lurim Ipsum Dulu. Actually, it's going to say subscribe and like, please. Uh, then we're going to have a paragraph with some Lorem 50. Then we're going to have another paragraph with some Lorem 70. There you go. Um, padding content out, you know. Um, and with cool, so now let's build our. So each element in here, so in the menu, you're going to have a top level menu, like a wrapper for the menu item. We're then going to have the item link, which is going to be like the top level item link. So in our example, we have account, music, movies and games. We're going to do the same list. Um, and then we're going to have a sub level wrapper, a sub menu, and then we're going to have a sub menu item. So let's quickly create this. So we're going to have a menu item we're using bem syntax here uh, or naming convention how if you want to do it we're then going to have an anchor tag this one's going to have href hashtag account and this is important and you'll know why later on in the video um, we're going to give this a class equal to item underscore name and what's then going to say account for this underneath we're going to have a item underscore sub hyphen menu um, and then inside that, we're going to have three anchor tags uh, with the class of sub menu underscore underscore item. Enter. In here, we're going to have uh, just basic hashtags. You put these to links to your actual pages. A uh, few profile, profook, that's not how you do it. Um, hashtag uh, change details. And then we're going to have a hashtag of log out because you've got to be able to log out from your account, right? Um, up here, we're going to give this an ID which matches the href here. So we're going to say account. 
and you're thinking wait Tyler when you click on that isn't that going to scroll you directly down here well it would if it wasn't in this sort of context um, but we're going to be using something else instead so now that is one sub menu now we need to copy this a couple of times so one two three so this one is going to be instead of an account it's going to be music oh, that's definitely now you spell music that, I did it again Tyler the U is before the S and there we go so now we're writing in music we're going to say uh, your music oh my god Tyler please the U is before the S I'm gonna I'm gonna go a few rounds for this guy uh, playlists because you know you always got to have your playlists I've always got my playlists on yes I listen to Frozen don't judge me uh, movies and my dad I'm allowed uh, your movies and in here we don't need we just need two of these for this one because you know I want to ferry it up and this one's going to say let's go for also I'm late I don't want to name anything else <laughs> oh and this one needs to be movies Oh, not movie, move feeds. God, I really don't like S's today. Um, nice. And in this one, we're going to say games because I love video games, as we spoke about in the beginning of this video. Um, and in here, we're going to say your games, more games, even more, if and more games. <laughs> I forgot what I named them originally, so I've just gave them those. Um, and that is it for the markups. As you can see, the markup is fairly simple. It's a little bit to it, but it is overall very simple. You've got an overarching wrapper, the NAF menu. You've got the menu item. So obviously, the only bit we actually are focusing on in this video is this NAF menu item, because it's where the accordion is going to be. The rest of this is just to make it look a bit prettier, so it doesn't look boring. Um, let's create our sas files we're going to create main.sas and in here i'm going to set up some variables i actually have these on a separate screen so i'm going to grab these variables um there we go just a lovely nice pink a light gray and a dark gray i'm really liking this the eee -E -E and the 3c 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 colors because they just work really well together um, anyway we're going to do some resets i'm going to say margin zero padding zero and box sizing border box now we're going to start up our sas so i'm going to do Control alt t on my mac keyboard to open up my integrated terminal and i'm going to write in here sas so you need to have you need to install sas and to do that you can go to sas do 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 and the sas language and you can follow the tutorial on is it install there it is and you can follow this tutorial over on the right here. So uh, npm install hyphen g sas. Uh, it says you also need nodes. So don't forget, you need to learn how to install node. Again, um, it's pretty simple to do. Or you can use homebrew. I think I used homebrew. Homebrew works a lot better for most things. Anyway, back to the, what we're doing. So in here, we're going to write sas. We're going to say hyphen hyphen watch. So it re for every single time I make a change, it updates. We're going to say hyphen hyphen no hyphen source hyphen map because i hate it when it gives me a source map because say map dot sas then we'll do a colon to say what we're going to convert into so this is your this is your input and then this is your output so main dot css enter and that is going to start compiling as you see it compiled right here now we're going to create a new terminal where we're going to say live hyphen surfer there's another node module to install this do npm hyphen g live surfer and then i can hit enter it and it's going to start me up a new live surface so let's close the old one and let's start styling so we're going to style the body we're going to give this a font family of sans serif i don't really care what font it actually is for this uh, tutorial so don't don't hate me we're going to give it the color of gray in our sas we'll give width of 100 vw and a height of 100 vh and vw and vh this one stands for few port width and this one stands for few port height so it gets you basically 100 percent of your few, your actual screen size so your actual browser size and browser height and it applies it um this is basically like a percentage for your whole screen uh, you go say display flex and we're going to do flex direction column because we want it to be columned so i don't nothing changed but you know we we'll fix that in a second i'm then going to say header 
and I'm going to say width 100 feet W again. I'm going to give this a padding of 15 pixels all around because that gives a good even number. Display flex, justify content, center, align, item center. So this is just for our um, just for our header here, and we're going to say H1. Actually, we actually need background color on this. Uh, dark and in here we're going to say color hyphen gray font size of 28 pixels always uh, no idea why I just like using that um, and a font weight of 300 we're then going to get the eye the italic and we give it a color of primary oh, with a font weight of 900 although my font probably doesn't support 900 Let's go over and there we go. We've got our basic header there. Again, this really is irrelevant for this tutorial, but you know, we've got to make things look pretty. I hope you guys agree. We'll get the main and we're going to display this as a flex and we're going to give this a flex one also because remember we added a flex to our body. So we're able to stretch this main all the way up 100% of our page. Now this is taking up 100% height of the rest of the screen. Um, now uh, in here we want to get our menu menu and if, I'm just gonna quickly say width 100% max width 250 pixels and background color is going to be dark to match the header um, and that's what I'm doing for that part right now because I want to style up the content section first so we're going to say content I'm going to give this a flex of 1, 1, 100%. What this stands for is flex grow 1, flex shrink 1, and the basis, which um, is like it's min slash max width sort of thing, it's 100%. And we're going to give it a padding of 25 pixels. Hit save. There you go. So that's what it's looking like so far. Now in content, we want to style up to H2. We're going to give it a color of dark. A font size of 24 pixels, because we don't want it being bigger than our uh, header, our H1. Margin bottom of 30 pixels we're then going to get the paragraphs and we'll give it a similar style so dark uh, the font size will be equal to 18 pixels and the margin bottom will be equal to 15 pixels there we go there we go looking good that's looking good don't forget to subscribe and like please i really i really i really appreciate it um <laughs> sorry um and now here comes the accordion stuff. So we've got our menu. We're now going to get our item, uh, which is just the dot menu underscore underscore item. We could use the BEM syntax in SAS, but I haven't gone over this yet, so I'm not going to do it in this video. Um, display block padding 15 pixels because each menu item wants to be 15 pixels big. Uh, and then we're going to get the item underscore underscore name and this is going to be the obviously the, the main thing you see before you see the sub menu so we're going to display this as block give this a padding of 15 pixels i've also just gave this a padding and i didn't mean to give that a padding i meant to give this a transition of 0.4 um so once we add the padding we're going to add some color and we're going to have it as the light gray Gonna have the font size at 20 pixels, the font weight of 700 pixels or 700, just 700. There's no pixels there. Uh, text transform, and we're gonna have this uppercase because everybody loves a good uppercase menu. Again, we're gonna add another transition of 0.4 on this too, because we're gonna be adding some hover states and stuff like that. And saying that, we're gonna have had a hover state right now. I'm gonna say border right, five pixels solid, primary. Hit save and there you go it's looking okay so if we hover you'll see it's it's doing a nice effect one thing i really want to do is i'm going to go to the bottom of my uh, sas i'm going to do a and i'm going to say text decoration none actually i'm going to bring this to the top because that's best practice to put any resets at the top there you go just in case you want to overwrite it for specific cases and there we go. So now that is looking really good other than this. And let's hide this before we, well, not hide, but st we'll style then hide or hide. No, we'll, we'll hide first. No, we'll style first. I don't know. <laughs> um, so underneath item name, we want to go 
item underscore sub hyphen menu. So this is the class of our um, menu. We're going to display as block. We're going to have a max height, but we're not going to set that yet. But we're going to say overflow hidden. And we're going to use max height like we did in our other videos to hide the um, the um, the menu. Uh, we're going to set this as max height. Oh, what am I doing? 0 0.4 and this is going to be ease out. And then we're going to have dot sub menu underscore underscore item. And in here we're going to have display block padding of 15 pixels top and bottom to match the uh, the item name. But this time we're going to say uh, the padding left and right is going to be 25 pixels. So I want it to be slightly more indented because I think that's a nice effect. We're going to say color gray font size 18 pixels font weight 400 that's not right where's the hyphen tyler come on get your typing right we're gonna set a border left of five pixels solid and then transparent the only reason we're doing it transparent is because we want to animate it in but if we animate it in but we don't add in a um if it's not already got five pixels it's going to make your text jump it's going to look like it's bouncing what's going to say transition 0.4 there, there we go. Now let's add the huffer effect in here. And we're gonna say border left, five pixels solid primary. So you can see, there we go. So now it's looking all right. Again, this is this is cool. This menu would be fine on your website, but let's be real. You don't wanna see all of this at once. You wanna be able to get to the places you wanna to get to without having to look through all of this. So let's hide the sub menu. So we're just gonna say max height zero pixels and there you go now that's all hidden we just have our account music movies and games so our top level menu there now where we have menu item uh, we want to go down in here and say and target now what we're going to say here so what target does is when you click on this link, you see this got anchor link in the the, uh, the URL bar, um, and that basically targets anything with the ID of account. So, because we have this in our HTML, you'll see here we have our whole menu item in the account. That means right here we can say dot item underscore underscore name, and we can say background hyphen color primary now if we save as you can see because this has got an active it's now allowing us to click and i can't click music because i forgot to change this to music oh and this one needs to be games see notice things so now i can click this one this one this one and this one and you'll see it changes up here and here so you can now kind of guess how we're going to work our menu and just to let you know some people are scared to use pseudo elements because of the support but if you type in target css can i use so can i use this amazing platform if you haven't looked at this before then you really should so it tells you everything can, can work css free selectors which includes checked enabled, disabled, and target all work currently perfectly. Even on older fin versions, they even work, some even work slightly on IE7 and 8. Target does not work on IE8 or below, uh, but I don't I don't personally support it. Um, so we can actually probably just say CSS target here, and it should give us just the stuff for target. So there you go. So you can see the only thing it doesn't work on is IE8, to, um, 6 or below. Everything else is working fine. Obviously, these ones say they don't know because they probably haven't been tested, but it works on all major browsers. So don't be scared to use Target in the future. Um, so anyway, back to the code. <laughs> so now we've we've done this. Now we need to open up our menu. And to do so, inside here, we want to say item underscore underscore sub menu. We're going to give it a max height of something ridiculous because something basically bigger than it's ever going to be. And we're going to say, oh, not 100 pixels, 1,000 pixels because we're not going to have it bigger than 1,000 pixels. You could probably say 100 VH, but at the same time, I'd rather use a pixel value because it works best. I'm going to say transition, max height, 0 0.4. I keep doing this. I keep putting a colon after the max height because it's a 
again it's a css value and then we're going to say ease in out now i know you guys might be asking why are you using max height and not height but the issue is you can't use height you can't transition height from uh zero to auto so like whatever height is but you can do it from max height to 100 pixels where it's still using auto so it will still only go to us it won't go to a thousand pixels it will only go to the height it needs as you can see here so as we click it animates this open and shuts the other one animates it open and shuts the other one animates it open and shuts the other one so that concludes this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something new and something exciting if you did then don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and obviously don't forget that notification bell so you know as soon as we upload a new video so guys thank you for watching i appreciate the um the time you have given me and i will speak to you in the next video peace out always do it on my own so i gotta get through it and the only thing i know is to love what i'm doing never give up never slow till i finally prove it never listen to the no's i just want to keep moving keep my head up when i act head up that's a fact never looking back i'ma keep myself on track keep my head up staying strong always moving on feel i don't belong tell my thoughts to move along push myself to be the best die with no regrets